Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research, entertainment purposes, and allegedly's. I would like to do a spread on JFK Jr. and Carolyn Bassett. I want to find out if they were happily married at the end there because it is rumored that they were not. Uh, they had a lot of problems. It is rumored she had a cocaine addiction. She was also on medication that was found, pills, bottles, you know, um, from the flight. So anyways, let's dig around. Let's find out how that couple was. How were they at the end of their marriage? How were they at the end of their marriage? Carolyn Bissett and JFK Jr. JFK Jr. How was the energy between the two of them? Between the two of them. How was the energy between the two of them? Did they still love each other? Were they bickering? Ooh. Okay. We've got broken heart. So, so far not looking good. It's looking like it's uh, coming out that the rumor is true. This card here, we have here being very nostalgic, the Six of Cups, and that is being, you know, making friends, it's gifts, it's having friends, it's very nostalgic. So they're very nostalgic, but brokenhearted, the two of them together. And they were still on the path together, you know, taking the path. That wasn't going to change anything. I'll just put that there, and I'm going to keep pulling. I've got here the King of Pentacles in reverse. So that would be basically uh, he was not feeling, feeling it. <laughs> uh, this is kind of in the abuse, abusive position. So I would say he kind of probably lost his temper with her. Uh, there is w with the Three of Swords above it. And then we also have here teamwork expansion in reverse. So they weren't working good together. Hmm. And the release, you know, taking the blindfolds off, seeing things for what they are, not being self-sabotaging, knowing and seeing the relationship for what it is uh, in that position. So let's keep digging. Let's see. So they still continued on that path. They weren't working very good together. Uh, he tended to get kind of nasty towards her, and he could see things for what they were. He felt like he, uh, you know, obviously the blindfolds were off. They'd been married long enough. They kind of got to see how each other truly were. Uh, weak. They weren't strong together. Strength in reverse. And Queen of Swords upright. So she tried to be, you know, an intentional uh, speaker with him. She tried to be intentional with her words. Uh, but Swords is also resistance. Uh, it's a it's a resistant uh, type of um, energy, uh, with also so you know not super easy going, at all, and that's why they could not team up very good, and that's what made them both feel very probably nostalgic as to the early, the early days of dating. And we have here the hangman, underneath the um, eight of swords, taking the blindfold off, seeing things for what they were, felt like a self sacrifice. Uh, on this path that they were continuing on. And circle of support, uh, they had a lot of friends supporting them while they were unhappy and he was kind of not feeling it anymore. He had a lot of friends supporting him, uh, probably trying to help him out, help them stay together. And we have here the Knight of Cups in reverse, wow. So she was pretty nasty with her words and then he would stop feeling it for her uh, King, we have the Knight of Cups. He just didn't want it. He didn't want it. He, he lost interest. It's looking like he really did lose interest. And that it would be no emotional loss here with the, the hangman uh, feeling like it was a self-sacrifice, seeing things for the way they were, not being blinded to the relationship. Uh, he didn't feel it was going to be such a loss. So it's, it's looking like the, the rumor is very true. Uh, and then didn't want to work on it anymore. Wow, wasn't going to be able to overcome it. And the friends were basically telling him that, I don't think you're gonna overcome this situation. And it's, um, you know, it's a, kind of an unfair situation. Uh, it's the, you know, with the justice in reverse, uh, that is a lot of inner critic and a lot of self-doubt. So he had a lot of inner critic. He was just, his inner critic was on fire. He wasn't feeling in love with her anymore. She was lashing out. They weren't working well together. They were both very nostalgic as to how their past was. Both were broken hearted, felt, um, you know, with the three of swords here and trying to stay on that path, but it's looking like it was really crumbling. And we have here the knight of wands, you know, so they were 
nine of wands are trying to be resilient. They were, there was fast changes that were happening. They were trying to be fulfilled, but things were happening very quickly. And we have here the lovers in reverse. Okay, so yes, and they could not work together. And we have here the getting out of town. They decide, hey, we've got to get out of town here, you know. So this is probably part, partly what they were doing. They're going to a wedding, you know. Uh, sometimes going on little vacations can restore a relationship. So, you know, they would, they would get out of stormy waters. They would go on vacations. Uh, to try and get back together, but they always ended up with a ten of swords here uh, and trying to recover from a rock bottom and with the burden, you know, the burdens in the ruin and feeling betrayed. So constantly trying to recover. And we have here, yeah, we have the trying to recover, the lovers in reverse, and then trying to partner back up. So they would try and recover from the ten of swords bottom and they realized that Quite possibly, this partnership wasn't going to last forever. And we also have here not working good together again. Once again, they cannot work together, could not work together. And we have here the page of cups in reverse. Uh, they didn't like each other. They didn't really like each other. They ended up not really liking each other. That's a sad. And it was the devil energy. Devil energy uh, played a part because she had a problem. She did have a problem uh, a, from being in the fashion industry. We all know what goes on in the fashion industry. Lots of that white powder stuff. So I'm going to ask the pendulum, was she still using? And is this the reason for it? Was she still using? Was she still using? And this was a reason for the marriage falling apart. Was she still using? Was she using cocaine? Was Carolyn Bissett using cocaine? Yes, she was. Was this the reason why they were marriage was falling apart? Is this why the marriage was falling apart? And it's a yes, yes. Was, was she willing to go to detox? Was she willing to go to detox? Was she willing to go to detox? Maybe, maybe. So she was struggling. She was struggling. She, you know, she. Uh, that's kind of no secret about that that part of her life. Apparently, it did leak out. And so it's, it was rumored she went back to it. And that was why they had marital issues. So let's get some more. What would have happened had they survived? Would they have gotten a divorce? 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 Here we go. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So yes, they would have. The legacy would have gone into reverse. Along with the Queen of Wands, she would have maybe been the one to file. Wow and to make herself happy. So yes, it's looking like it would have fallen apart and the king of wands upright. Wow, so the two of them would have, would have uh, triggered this thing. They both would have uh, agreed on it in order to be happy, put the family in reverse, wow. And we have here knight of cups in reverse again. In the center of the situation, what do I have here? I have here, they both wanted uh, to be fulfilled, emotional fulfillment. To have a you know to be contented and it was a wish card so they both wish to actually get a divorce wow crazy and my battery is running low so i'm going to end this video i wish i could go on longer but i know i'm going to run out of juice so take care until next time like and subscribe bye